We first met Amorosa on The Apprentice, President Trump's TV show, way back in 2004, if you can believe it. It's been 14 years. She's been in the Trump orbit in one way or another pretty much ever since. Made her way to the campaign trail, was at the convention, then made her way to the White House. And the now former White House advisor, Amorosa Manigault Newman, claims she turned down 15 grand a month in hush money after she got fired late last year. That's according to the Washington Post, citing Amorosa's upcoming book. And she is torturous, we're told, in that book. She calls the president racist. And the Post reports Newman claims the Trump campaign made an offer through President Trump's campaign advisor and daughter-in-law, Lara Trump. She's Eric's wife. Amorosa says she turned down the offer. Of course, her time with President Trump goes back to The Apprentice, as I mentioned. The White House not commenting specifically on the hush money claim or any of the rest of it. But on the book in general, the press secretary, Sarah Sanders, says this. Instead of telling the truth about all the good President Trump has, and his administration are doing to make America safe, prosperous, this book is riddled with lies and false accusations. She goes on, it's sad that a disgruntled former White House employee is trying to profit off these false attacks, and even worse, that the media would now give her a platform after not taking her seriously when she had only positive things to say about the president during her time in the administration. She was actually a guest on our program at that convention, and she talked just about that. Times have changed since then. The book is coming out. She'll be on one of the Sunday shows this weekend, and we'll learn the rest of the allegation pretty quick.